Shador Sanders is the quarterback. He replies, I don't even remember him, to be honest. Bro had to be very mid at best. Nick, you played a decade, about a decade in professional football. What are your expectations of your starting quarterback, the leader of your team? Man, I don't expect him to be like Diddy all up in the video. I expect him to have some decorum and, and, and have some leadership and, and be a little bit you know, more conservative about what he puts out there. Um, I want him to be the leader of the team. And leader means coming in early, doing all the work you have to do to lead us to being a good team. Because at the end of the day, the quarterback has the most responsibilities because the playbook is so fucking large. And you have to know everybody, what's, what's going on with everybody, your, your center, your receivers. You basically run the show. So you have a massive amount of, of things that you account for and, and the pressure's on you. So I, I want him to be a leader and a leader of men because everybody's going to follow as that quarterback goes. It's just what it is because you make the major decisions with the ball. So we're expecting you to be a captain and kind of make the major decisions within the team and showing us the right way of how we're going to come together as one unit and build and build and build and be great together. Shador, he's kind of all about Shador. And that's what he puts out there. It's not somebody I would really love to play for. It's more, but I don't know what goes on in the locker room. He might be the best locker room, locker mate. He's giving them gifts and things of that nature. And might be a great guy on the inside. But from the outside looking in, it doesn't look that way. It looked like somebody who you want to punch in the fucking mouth some days because he's just going to rub in how much money he got and he could do this, he could do that. And I don't give a fuck, and I could be late, I could do this. And and when you're doing all that type of stuff as a leader, it kind of rubs the rest of the people the wrong way. And they don't follow you anymore, and then you become a 4-8 and eight team again. And it's all because nobody believes and nobody wants to really play for the person that's leading the team. If you don't got the guys behind you that's willing to run through a wall for you as the quarterback, you're not going very far. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.